Hello, Neighborhood Church. Thank you for checking out this week's Midweek Devo. Hey, last Sunday, Forrest continued in our series, Best Chapter Ever, and really painted a relational picture for us and highlighted the different ways that we sometimes view God. Forrest highlighted how ultimately God is like Jesus. And and here's how he defined Jesus. Jesus is the literal, physical representation of divine, other-centered, self-sacrificing love. Forrest talked about how God is a guiding father, not a distant father. How God is a gentle father, not a demanding father. How God is a generous father, not a deadbeat father. And I want to encourage you to go back and listen to Forrest's message as he unpacks these things. But for today's Devo, I want to sit in a question that Forrest asked. Do we sometimes have a broken image of God? Neighborhood, do any of you sometimes fall into the trap that I fall in? One where I view myself more as a slave? Forrest does a great job of unpacking this, but essentially that means that we have no rights. That we fall into the trap where our identity comes from productivity. Where our standing with God is shaky. And that we share in the labor, but not the wealth, not the reward. That we are property and that we have no rights. But thankfully, we worship a good God who wants us to view ourselves as adopted children, that that God is our adopted father, that we have an incredibly high standing, that our status is bestowed on us, not earned, that our identity is in our relationship with Jesus, not productivity, that we are permanent members of his family forever, and that we share in the wealth and the reward. And I guess I want to end with this. You know, we have a God who calls us, calls the moms and the dads out there, to help our kids, the next generation, view their heavenly father as a loving, adopted father, not a slave owner. And I got to experience this in a big way at our father-son retreat last month. I was blown away at how intentional the fathers were on this trip. They took time out of their busy schedules. They drove four plus hours to tent camp all weekend because the next generation, their dudes, their boys, they're worth everything. And I got to witness how these dads grasped the truth that how we view our earthly father greatly impacts how we view our heavenly father. And I personally don't know my earthly father, and that's had its challenges. But I was so encouraged as a young father myself by the example that these dads at Neighborhood showed me. And so today, I hope you're encouraged and challenged to believe that we have a heavenly father who gives us trust, who gives us hope, affection. He gives us grace and freedom, and of course, a future. Let's lean into these truths and always remember that we are adopted children with high standing and that the next generation is worth everything. So let's share it with them. Hey, neighborhood, before you go, check out this week's discussion guide at ncbicelia.com slash discuss. Hey, here you can can revisit last week's message. You can check out different discussion questions, see recommended resources, and so much more. We update this page each week so that we can continue the conversation together. Hey, that's it for today. We hope you have a great week. We'll see you Sunday.